Mark, everybody's working on their New Year's resolutions. Just spoke to an analyst in London this morning that said uranium is just coming up and are a leader, a leader for uranium production in the United States. You're what, one of the top two? Well, we have a long history of producing uranium. And, and over the last 10 years, we produced a third of the newly mined uranium in the United States and Cameco. Uh, has produced about 42%. So between Cameco and energy fuels, 75% of the uranium produced in the United States came from two companies. So one third over the last 10 years, and that bodes well for our restarts that are happening right now, Tracy, um, on, on, on a number of fronts. You just put out a news release a couple of weeks ago, I think about 10 days ago, that you have commenced production at three of your U.S. uranium mines. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we, we, we've actually been readying these projects for the last year, year and a half. And um, now we're going into new uranium production. And um, that's at the Pinion Plain Mine in Arizona and what we call the LaSalle Complex uh, in Utah, which is actually a, a, a group of about four or five mines. And uh, we're back underground um, mining the ore. So really the, the preparations, we didn't consider uranium mining, but we are mining right now. So, so in 2024, uh, between a combination of newly mined ore, alternate feed, uh, and, and, and recovering uranium from some of our uh, uh, rare earth feeds, uh, we'll be uh, having about a million pounds worth of production in different stages of processing in 2024 and building that up to around 2 million pounds the next year or so, um, which uh, is really the, the beginning of the flywheel on our uranium production. I, I was reading that energy fuels has accounted for roughly two thirds of all U.S. uranium production over the past five years. I, I'm going to assume you're going to maintain this position here in 2024 or increase uh, the percentage. Well, the, the, the two thirds over the last five years, that's because of the unique capabilities of the company to be able to do what we call alternate feed. So when no one else was producing anything or hardly anything, we were able to recycle uranium from people like Cameco and Converdine, um, Union Pacific, and produce uranium at very low cost during low periods, price uh, periods uh, of the last five years. So no, we, we plan to do, um, you know, keep keep up with our traditional uh, uranium production and increase that, as I said, from 1 million to 2 million pounds. Uh, there are some other projects that are going to come into production in, in 24, uh, including UR Energy. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think we'll hold that, that two-thirds pr uh, production um, this next uh, five years, but I think we're, we're still going to be, uh, if not the largest producer, we'll be second largest producer in the United States, as we have been for decades. There's a lot of stock promotion going on out there, uh, Bart. Uh, new companies, they get themselves an acreage and say that they're going to be producing uranium. I don't think they appreciate how many licenses you have to go through to actually handle this radioact radioactive material. Would you mind helping some of the investor news audience out there going, hey, we want to get in on this uranium market, which is just beginning to flourish. Can you share with them some you know, basic, uh, how this actually works. Yeah. Well, Tracy, I've been in the uranium business this year for 48 years, and I've mined uranium all over the world in the United States, Africa, Kazakhstan, and in Africa. So it is very difficult to get into the uranium business because of the permits and licenses required, the capital investment on building new projects, and the expertise. So it is not easy, and I can tell you that only a handful will succeed, of new players will succeed, and, and that is probably being optimistic. So if you look at the last cycle, um, there were only three or four projects, really new projects outside of Kazakhstan, that actually got up and produced uranium in a successful way. So if I have this right, Mark, we're currently producing, we have three mines, or three additional mines that are commencing production in 2024, is that correct? 
Correct. And we're readying some of the other projects. So, so you know, it's going to be uh, dynamic as we, we build up our production capabilities and as we secure additional new long-term contracts, which we, we signed uh, three long-term contracts about a year and a half ago. So, so as we get new contracts, as the uranium price goes up, we'll continue to turn on and restart other mines in addition to what we already have operating at this moment. And for everybody interested in uranium, I urge you strongly to go to the Energy Fuels website. There's photographs, there's education, information, and a long list of news releases that will bring you up to speed. Mark, Mark thank you so much for joining us and Happy New Year. Thank you, Tracy, and Happy New Year to you as well.